Patty O'Kelly and the Weasel. A long time ago there was once a man of the name of Patty O'Kelly, living near to him, in the county Galway. He rose up one morning early, and he did not know what time of day it was, for there was fine light coming from the moon. He wanted to go to the fair of Caw Ernamar to sell a strick of an ass that he had. He had not gone more than three miles of the road when the grey darkness came on and a shower began falling. He saw a large house among trees about 500 yards in from the road, and he said to himself that he would go to the house till the shower would be over. When he got to the house he found the door open before him, and then with him. He saw a large room to his left, and a fine fire in the grate. He sat down on a stool that was beside the wall, and began falling asleep. When he saw a big weasel coming to the fire with something yellow in his mouth, which it dropped on the hearthstone, and then it went away. She soon came back again with the same thing in her mouth, and he saw that it was a guinea she had. She dropped it on the hearthstone, and went away again. She was coming and going, until there was a great heap of guineas on the hearth. But at last, when she got her gone, Patty rose up, thrust all the gold she had gathered into his pockets, and out with him. He had not gone far till he heard the weasel coming after him, and she screeching as loud as a bag pipes. She went before Patty and got on the road, and she was twisting herself back and forwards, and trying to get a hold of his throat. Patty had a good oak stick, and he kept her from him, until two men came up who were going to the same fair, and one of them had a good dog, and it rooted the weasel into a hole in the wall. Patty went to the fair, and instead of coming home with the money he got for his old ass, as he thought it would be the way with him in the morning, he went and bought a horse with some of the money he took from the weasel, and he came home riding. When he came to the place where the dog had rooted the weasel into the hole in the wall, she came out before him, gave a leap, and caught the horse by the throat. The horse made off, and Patty could not stop him till at last he gave a leap into a big drain that was full up of water in black mud, and he was drowning and choking as fast as he could, until men who were coming from Galway came up and drove away the weasel. Patty brought the horse home with him, and put him into the cow's fire and fell asleep. Next morning, the day on the morrow, Patty rose up early, and went out to give his horse hay and oats. When he got to the door he saw the weasel coming out of the byre and she covered with blood. My seven thousand curses on you, said Patty, but I'm afraid you've done harm. He went in and found the horse, a pair of milch cows, and two calves dead. Page 48 illustration and more Celtic fairy tales. PNG came out and said a dog he had after the weasel. The dog got a hold of her and she got a hold of the dog. The dog was a good one, but he was forced to lose his hold of her before Patty could come up. He kept his eye on her, however, all through, until he saw her creeping into a little hovel that was on the brink of the lake. Patty came running, and when he got to the little hut he gave the dog a shake to rouse him up and put in her own hand. And then he sent him in, when the dog went away and began barking. Patty went after him, and saw an old cat in the corner. She saw a weasel coming in there. I did not, said she. I'm all destroyed with a plague of sickness. And if you don't go out quick, you'll catch it for me. All Patty and the hag were talking. The dog kept moving in all the time. Till at last she gave a leap and caught the hag by the throat. She screeched and said, Patty Kelly, take off your dog, and I'll make you a rich man. Patty made the dog lose his hold, and said, Tell me who you are. Or why did you kill my horse and my cows? And why did you bring away my gold that I was gathering for 500 years throughout the hills and hollows of the world? I thought you were a weasel, said Patty, or I wouldn't touch your gold. And another thing, says he, if you're for 500 years in this world, it's time for you to go to rest now. I committed a great crime in my youth, said the hat. And now I am to be released from my sufferings if you can pay 20 pounds for a hundred and three score masses for me. Where's the money? said Patty. Go and dig under a bush that's over a little well in the 